Hello, this is Debu Tripathi. I'm at the University of Southern California and also the editor-in-chief of Cure Magazine. And we're here at the 36th annual San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium. This is the largest annual meeting that is devoted to breast cancer, a long-running meeting. And it blends in the basic sciences, the clinical sciences, epidemiology. So it's really a, a wonderful meeting of different disciplines, different thought leaders. And many of the new developments in breast cancer are presented at this meeting. So we started off today with uh, several discussions on new studies that are analyzing the benefits of combining therapies. We're starting to understand that breast cancer is very complicated when you use just one therapy, even some of the newer biologically targeted therapies, that the cancer cells eventually find a way around it. Cancer cells are so complicated and have such a vast network that when you block one pathway, uh, uh, it, it, the cells that want to do everything they can to grow find a way around it. So combinatorial therapy, putting two biological drugs together, is a new trend that is being studied. The HER2 pathway is one that has been successfully targeted with a drug called Herceptin, uh, but in, especially in metastatic cancer, uh, cancer cells become eventually become resistant. So using two HER2 targeted drugs at a time has been tested uh, in a preoperative study where patients actually are treated before surgery to see how well the drug can shrink the tumor and if at the time of surgery all the tumor uh, disappears, comparing treatment with just Herceptin alone to Herceptin plus Lapatinib, also known as Tyker. When you combine the two drugs compared to just one drug, the number of people that have complete disappearance of tumor, which is known as a complete pathologic response, is much higher. And the important thing about this is that when you have a higher complete pathologic response, the overall survival, the number of people that ultimately recur and die of their cancer, is also lower. So the Food and Drug Administration is actually looking at a drug that may be tested in the preoperative setting as a way to get the drug approved. So it's very important to see if the response rates can actually be linked to long-term recurrence-free survival using this model of combination biological therapy. So the results of the Neo-Alto study were presented, and in fact, uh, it had earlier been shown that it doubles the pathologic complete response rate, uh, and now they for the first time presented whether with longer follow-up it lowers the number of people that recur. And the answer is basically that it does. It's not quite statistically significant yet, but in a subgroup of the HER2 positive cases, the ones that were hormone receptor negative, did not make the estrogen receptor, those patients actually did have a, a better recurrence rate lower recurrence rate if they had a complete pathologic response. So this is an important finding in that it sets the pathway for us to study newer drugs uh, in a much faster time frame. We can see if people respond before surgery and if we can show that convincingly we might get a drug approved without having to wait years that it takes to look at the differences in recurrence. So we're not quite there yet but we've made a step in that direction particularly uh, perhaps for patients with HER2 positive and hormone receptor negative tumors.